Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. Today we're diving into an exciting peptide therapy called Tessamorelin. You might have heard of it if you're interested in anti-aging treatments. In this episode, we'll break down exactly what Tessamorelin is, how it works in the body, and the potential benefits it can offer. Plus, we'll talk about the possible side effects and risks associated with therapy and how it compares to another popular peptide we discussed last week, Sermorelin. So what is Tessamorelin? Tessamorelin is a synthetic or man-made peptide that acts as a growth hormone releasing hormone or GHRH analog. In simple terms, it stimulates the body's natural production of growth hormone by targeting the pituitary gland, which is responsible for releasing growth hormone. Unlike direct growth hormone replacement therapy, where you inject synthetic growth hormone into your body, tessamorelin works by promoting your body to produce its own growth hormone naturally. This is often considered a more natural approach to restoring optimal hormone levels. Now, originally, tessamorelin was approved by the FDA to treat lipodystrophy, which is abnormal fat distribution in HIV patients who were experiencing this excess abdominal fat. However, its use has since expanded in the realm of anti-aging and fat loss due to its ability to really promote fat metabolism, muscle development, and overall vitality. So how does tessamorelin work? In essence, tessamorelin taps into your body's natural ability to produce growth hormone rather than injecting it directly. This is why it's often considered safer or a less invasive alternative to traditional growth hormone therapies. It's typically given once daily via subcutaneous or just under the skin in the fatty tissue injection. And depending on the health condition being treated, some individuals may actually need to dose less frequently less frequently. So what's the difference between tessamorelin and sermorelin? While both tessamorelin and sermorelin are peptides that stimulate the release of growth hormone, they differ in their structure and the specific ways they interact with the body. Tessamorelin is a modified version of GHRH that specifically targets the release of growth hormone from the pituitary gland, and it's particularly effective in reducing abdominal fat, especially that visceral fat, and improving body composition, which makes it really popular for individuals seeking fat loss and anti-aging benefits. Sermorelin, on the other hand, is a shorter form of GHRH and has a more general effect on growth hormone secretion. While it also stimulates the pituitary gland to release growth hormone, it's often used in younger individuals or those seeking overall growth hormone balance and anti-aging benefits rather than specifically targeting fat loss. So what are the potential benefits of tessamorelin therapy? One of the most well-known benefits of tessamorelin is its ability to reduce abdominal fat and improve overall body composition. It is especially effective at targeting visceral fat, which is the fat stored around internal organs. Now, this can be beneficial for those looking to lose stubborn belly fat, which is linked to several health issues such as heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, and even fatty liver disease. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is improved muscle mass. So since growth hormone plays a key role in muscle development, tessamorelin can help increase lean muscle mass and improve muscle tone. It's especially helpful for older adults or people recovering from injuries who really want to retain or regain muscle strength. The next thing is increased energy levels. So higher levels of growth hormone can actually result in improved energy, improved vitality, and endurance. Now, many patients report feeling more energized throughout the day, which can improve quality of life and overall activity levels. Tessamorelin's effect on collagen production can actually contribute to improved skin tone, skin elasticity, and texture. may also benefit hair health as well, making it a popular option for people seeking anti-aging benefits beyond just the fat loss and muscle gain. Tessamorelin may also enhance the body's metabolism, aiding in better fat burning and more efficient use of nutrients, which can really be beneficial for weight management. And there are some studies that suggest that tessamorelin may have cognitive benefits, including improved memory and mental clarity, likely due to the overall boost in growth hormone levels. So are there potential side effects and risks with tessamorelin? 
therapy. So as with any therapy, tessamorelin comes with potential side effects and risks. While side effects are generally mild and well tolerated, they can include injection site reactions, headaches, joint pain or muscle aches, and fluid retention. Now, long-term use of growth hormone stimulating therapies like tessamorelin may actually increase the risk of carpal tunnel syndrome, joint issues, or diabetes in predisposed individuals. And although rare, there is a concern that stimulating growth hormone production can actually accelerate the growth of existing cancers. So it's really important to have a thorough conversation and health evaluation with your healthcare provider before starting treatment. As always, consulting with a healthcare provider is essential and they really should get sort of a feel if you've had a history of cancer, any pituitary gland disorders, or chronic health conditions. Thanks again for listening to the Peptide Podcast. If you found this episode helpful, please be sure to subscribe and leave a review. And as always, have a happy, healthy week.